Alrighty, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to play Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon on the PC with 4K settings on the Citra emulator. Now this process is basically simple and easy. It should not take you more, no more than 5 to 6 minutes to get this set up on your PC. Now first thing you guys need to, need to do is go to the website citra slash mu.org which I'll leave everything which you guys are going to need in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. First thing you need to do is go to the download page. And then we're gonna download for Windows 64. And we're gonna wait for that to basically set up. You're gonna open up the EXE. And go next, next. We're gonna use go mostly go for the nightly build. We're gonna set the terms. Go to next, click next again, and you basically wait for it to stall. It should not take no more than at least 10 seconds. It's pretty quick compared to Yuzu. All right, and then after that, you press finish. You know, y'all set to go. How you know where it's located? Locate it. Type in Citra. Citra Nightly, and then we got it set up. Now, first thing I would like to set up is the controls. Now, i say the best control to use for this emulator is anything that Windows can read, which is obviously an Xbox One controller, an Xbox 360 controller, and something that's X input. Those are really good controllers for gaming with a Windows computer. Anything else, um, make sure that Windows like it, Windows or your operating system is able to read it. And if it's able to read it, it should have no problem working on Citra. If something funky happens, that's a little bit on your controller's end and that's something you have to figure out on your own. But I'll say 90 to 95% of all controllers working with this emulator. Now, basically I just have the Xbox One controller. I'm gonna set this up. Now I already, set this up already so the x button and then the y button is number three i already preset this already so i don't have to do this again mostly m most tabs should be left on default general system and audio should be left on default the, the real tab the real things that we're actually messing with is the graphics tab and if you want to play in 4k you got to mess around with the native Resolution, if you want to have the best look as possible when you're playing the game, 8x, 9x native are pretty much, and 10x are pretty much around the 4K settings. I usually set it to 9x, even though my PC, even though I know my PC can handle 10x, I prefer 9x. Um, mostly, you want to change, you want to have a bigger screen when you're playing the game i prefer using a large screen pretty helpful anything down here pretty only you don't need to mess around with it if you want text look a little bit good in 4k just use 4k ultra fast and then the advanced tab this is game dependent like if you having like a couple problems with the game you're playing like a couple crashes or certain things feel off of the game this is i'll suggest this is the only time for you to use it but usually when it's left on default it's pretty good yeah that's about it um if you want some like a little extra boost in power this is all depending on the type of pc game pc you have the type of graphics card you have if you have amd i believe this process is not gonna work for you if you have nvidia which i'm pretty sure most people have 80 85 85 to 80 percent people have in the video because it's a really good graphics card this process will work for you so this is pretty common so i'm gonna left click go to the video control panel all right we're gonna go to the first one now the last two are pretty much you guys can use you can use the um you can use the third one, but I mostly prefer using the second tab to use 
use the advanced 3D image settings. This is my pre preference, basically. And I mess around with the third tab. I enable my graphics card. Use these when you first on here, and if you never touch the video control panel, it's gonna automatically be on auto select. But set it to your graphics card or whatever type of GTX you have. And then you can mess with the 3D settings. Now, on default, you might have something different, but I suggest you copy the same stuff I have on my screen right here because this is the best settings to push, push your games to maximum performance as much as possible without crashing <laughs> uh, the game you're playing or the emulator. So yeah, that's basically it. You guys can pause the video and check if you guys have the same settings as mine. If you don't have the same settings as me, I suggest changing it to it. And then I think on default it's on auto select, but it should be set to NVIDIA processor. And in the program settings, make sure it's actually using it. Go to add, go to the Citrus EXE and add the select program. You're good to go. Use global settings for the highest performance as possible. Press apply. Wait a couple seconds and you're basically all good to go. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, I still got all three things set up. Um, the controller, the 4K settings you want, and using your graphics card to get the best and most powerful performance as much as possible when you're playing on the emulator. You're gonna need the game. Now do keep in mind, only do this if you have the digital copy or hard copy of Ultra Sun and Moon. If you guys do not have the digital or hard, hard, hard copy of the game, Tongue Twister, I do not suggest you guys downloading games off the internet. Only do this if you have the hard copy or digital copy. If you guys don't, I suggest you guys buying it off the internet or going to your local game store, buying the game, and then you can emulate it on the PC. Now, there's another method of obtaining the game is through dumping, but dumping is kind of like a process of you hacking your 3DS. And I know a lot of people do not want to go through the hassle of hacking the 3DS and risking breaking it because a lot of people don't want to go through that risk. They rather buy the game and download the game and then play it because that's the that's the best, most safest, and most fastest method. Now let's be real here. Now you download it is that simple and easy. It's gonna come as a RAR file. I'll show you guys how to set that up through your RAR file. Now, if you guys don't have a WAR file opener, you guys can download WinRAR or 7-Zip. And I suggest you guys make a new folder because it does not come with a folder. Let's call it Sun, Ultra Sun. And then we're basically going to do the the Pedazzle, drag, drag and drop. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. As I can see in the bottom of my screen, if you guys don't notice or not, how quickly it's downloading. I'm basically gonna know when it's finished downloading. All right, and after that, we're gonna close this up. Double click the screen to get the game setting up. And we'll go to the sun, select the folder, and we're basically good to go. I know you can enable cheats, but I think that's why you're playing the game. That's that's another that's for another video. I don't know what else on my mind. I was doing that but anyways that's basically it this is automatically comes with a no outline so i'm gonna open this up to showcase you guys it actually does work i have to stop it real quick because you know i'm not trying to get claimed by nintendo but anyways that's basically it that's how you set it up real simple and easy straight to the point tutorial if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like share and subscribe 
you guys are new because i'm making more emulation videos in the near future i'm trying to pump out at least three to five videos a day so i'm gonna do a little challenge in my head to see if, how much videos i can put out in a month and yeah that's basically it if you guys want to Stay tuned for a lot of videos regarding emulation, showing cool tricks and stuff you can do with different emulators. Stay tuned, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.